With a spike in COVID-19 cases in Seoul and its neighbouring Gyeonggi-do province, the government set up an emergency response team yesterday to conduct more epidemiological investigations in the area. It will also increase the number of hospital beds to treat coronavirus patients and high-risk facilities in Seoul will be subject to stronger hygienic inspections for two weeks starting today. South Korea registered more than 690 new locally transmitted coronavirus infections over the past four days. About 620 cases were reported in Seoul, Gyeonggi-do province and Incheon. Authorities believe COVID-19 is widespread and can be contracted anywhere in the capital and its neighboring areas. They warn that long-delayed tougher measures can be taken if the spread isn't brought under control this week. 고위험 시설에 대한 운영 중단과 실내 50인 이상 실외 백인 이상의 집합과 모임 등을 금지하는 조치들이 취해질 수 있습니다. The government began operating a pan-government emergency response team in the capital area from August 17. Since the demand for epidemiological investigations is expected to surge for the time being, top priority will be placed on quickly tracing the roots of recent group infections. Investigations will be carried out on workplaces and religious establishments with a focus on the period between two days before and five days after the symptoms first appeared. Authorities will sternly deal with acts that obstruct such investigations. They are also securing more hospital beds in preparation for a potential spike in coronavirus infections. Currently, some 750 sick beds are available at designated infectious disease hospitals in the capital area. Health authorities plan to increase the total number of hospital beds from the current 1,400 to about 2,000. They will also secure around 330 critical care beds to treat coronavirus patients. A sick bed sharing system is now in operation among hospitals in the capital area. While doing its own part, the Seoul city government will conduct intensive inspections on high-risk venues and public facilities for two weeks to ensure they comply with strengthened hygiene and quarantine rules.